you don't like loud noises, then look away. This week I hit 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing and incomprehensible. I can't imagine what 1,000 people looks like. The lecture hall where I have my lectures at uni seats 300 people, so that means more than three lecture halls worth of people watch my videos and my brain just can't process that, that's so cool. Thank you all so much for helping me reach this milestone. It's not something I ever expected to achieve, but I'm really happy that I have. I'm very proud of myself and how far I've come because YouTube's helped me a lot with my confidence and just growing me as a person and I'm very grateful. Anyway, on to today's video. I thought I would show you around my uni room because I'm moving out in like two weeks and I haven't ever shown you guys. At the moment I'm just living in your bog standard halls room. I haven't got an ensuite and I'm self-catered. Um, I pay about, I think it's £100 and 3p a week. So, I mean you can get it cheaper if you go to other cities but uh, I guess it's the south of England that's what you're paying for. The coast, the lovely grey sludgy sea. I live here with six other people. We have one very tiny kitchen two toilets, one shower room and one bath and shower room. I've never had to queue for the shower once because everyone showers at different times of day and a lot of people don't get up before noon so I'm glad that I saved like £2,000 by not getting an ensuite. If you're watching this because you're about to move in tools then first of all don't panic you're going to be fine and second my room isn't exactly typical because it's very big. All the other rooms in my flat are the tiny box rooms that you would expect from halls but for some reason I got lucky and got this room which I really don't need. I don't need this much space but I guess I'm not complaining. But even though it's different in that sense everything else is exactly the same. Same furniture, same price so you can still get a feel of what your room might be like. I think that's all the information I can tell you so let's just get started. So this is my room. As you can see there's a lot of floor space which I hardly ever use and there's also a lot of storage in here but I don't really use that much either. Unfortunately there isn't much space to put things on display like shelves and stuff and I have a lot of junk that I want to put on display so that's a shame. Starting off with my bed, my favourite part of the room mostly because I spend all of my time here asleep. These sheets are from Ikea and they're just so pretty and also I have an Ikea duvet and it's the softest, squishiest thing in the whole world I would recommend. Underneath my bed there's some storage, I've got a drawer full of just random junk like my Disneyland ears and some herbal tea and the other side is supposed to be a drawer but doesn't have a drawer in and I've got just some shoes and I also keep my camera equipment there. Above my bed I've hung this garland of origami stars which I made and I think they're really beautiful and if I could I would make them for everyone. Moving on to my pin board which is absolutely massive, I've got this academic wall planner. Above that I've got my fairy lights and a string of photos from memories from home which are all really lovely and make me happy. Then the rest of it's just random collections of photos and postcards and bits and pieces from my life. There's my chest of drawers and on that I've got a photo of me and my boyfriend Jacob at Disneyland. I've got my jewellery tree even though I hardly ever wear jewellery. At the moment there's also a good luck card on there from my family because I've got exams at the moment. Then there's this cute clock which I found in a little shop in Croatia and also I keep my medication on here because otherwise I forget to take it. Again the drawers on the best use of space and the top two is just random crap like batteries and glasses cases and some lush products. And in the bottom drawer I keep all my craft supplies which I wish I could say I had enough time to actually use. <laughs> Around the corner is wardrobe number one which I just use for storage. I have my Polaroid camera hanging on the door and then inside I wish I could tell you something interesting. I just keep my shoes and then like cleaning products and spare bed sheets. Next up is my bookshelf which is a lot more aesthetically pleasing. On the left side I keep all my books plus all my makeup in that white basket. I also have my makeup brushes in this cute little cow jug and I keep my happy memories in this little Kilmer jar. On the right hand side I keep all the products which I use every day and then I've got my DVDs which is mostly just Studio Ghibli and Grey's Anatomy and on the end something very precious to my heart, my biscuit tin and also my photo of my family at my 18th birthday party. I keep my Simpsons here too, I've got Mr Big from Zootropolis and Marie from the Aristocats. Then on the top shelf I've got all my folders, my fight star poster and my record collection which one day I will get around to filming a collection video for. A sink may seem like a weird thing to need in a room but our toilet doesn't have a sink so everyone just uses their own ones. Underneath I store all my products, it's not very exciting but this 
is a complete lifesaver. If you're moving into halls, I would recommend you get one 100%. It's a shower caddy, so you can put all your shower stuff in it and it's got holes in the bottom so you can literally take it into the shower with you. If there's one thing I would recommend you get if you're moving into halls, it would be this. Moving on to wardrobe number two, obviously I keep all my clothes in here and there's also my laundry bag and just lots of empty boxes for when I move out. In the drawer underneath, I keep my t-shirts and jeans and then tucked down the side, there's my aero or clothes dryer. This big window is probably my second favourite thing about this room. I just think it's really cute. I keep all my pretty stuff on here, so I've got a reed diffuser, which is actually almost empty, I need to change that. I've got these three little cactuses, which I think are adorable, and then I've got some photos of me and my friends. Next up is my desk, and I love how much space there is on it. Okay, so from left to right I've got my Ikea lamp, my pen pots, I've got this whiteboard which is in the shape of a man's head, which I normally write video ideas on. I found this bunny jar and paper chase which I filled with confetti for my birthday, and then I got this file organiser thing, which I try not to overfill just so that it doesn't overwhelm me with the stuff I've got in there. I keep like my planner in there and some cards I have to send people, and receipts very boring stuff. Then on the end there's my record player which I have a sort of love-hate relationship with. Love because I love collecting vinyl and hate because it keeps breaking, it's costing you so much money. On the right hand side of my desk there are three drawers, the big one at the bottom I won't bore you with because it's just full of filing, the second one's slightly more interesting, it's got some pretty notebooks in, and the top one is the best. Washi tape, pretty pens, everything you could ever wish for in one drawer, I love it. Finally, we've got this smaller window which I sit in front of to film my videos, and on that windowsill there's my giant cactus and this really cute photo of my cat Tiddles. So that was my room, did you like it? I hope you did because, I mean, it's my home and it's my room and I like it. Before I came here I was really worried my room was going to be ugly because in all the photos they don't look very nice and all the furniture doesn't match and it's all old and gross and that was all true, but I think I've done my best with the place. It looks homely and lovely and I'm going to miss it a bit, a lot. I'm going to miss the convenience of living here, being two minutes from uni and the maintenance people coming around and fixing things for you and having free heating and free water. <sighs> Why am I moving out? If you have any questions about living in halls or general university questions then feel free to ask me in the comments or on any of my social media, links in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you again for 1,000 subscribers, you have no idea what that means to me. I hope you're all doing well, there's a lot more uni related stuff coming soon so stay tuned for that and I will see you very soon. Bye!